Learning Corporation recorded the following transactions for the just completed month. $80,000 in raw materials were purchased on account. Raw materials is an asset and will increase that asset with a debit to raw materials for $80,000. If it's purchased on account, we will need to credit or increase accounts payable by $80,000. Item B. $71,000 in raw materials were requisitioned for use in production. Of this amount, $62,000 was for direct materials and the remainder was for indirect materials. If we issue $71,000 or requisition $71,000 of raw materials, this means raw materials will decrease and we record a decrease in raw materials with a $71,000 credit. We will have a $9,000 debit to manufacturing overhead and that's for the indirect materials and that's the $71,000 minus 62 and the $62,000 for direct material will be an increase to work in process. Total labor wages of $112,000 were incurred. This will be a credit to wages payable or we might credit cash if we actually paid the wages. Our debits then will be as follows. Of this amount, $101,000 was for direct labor and the remainder or $11,000 was for indirect labor, which would be manufacturing overhead. So we will debit manufacturing overhead for the $11,000. And again, we will increase work in process for $101,000, and that will be a debit balance to work in process. Item D, additional manufacturing overhead costs of $175,000 were incurred. Again, when we incur actual manufacturing overhead, we debit the manufacturing overhead account for the $175,000 and we'll credit uh, various payable accounts or perhaps um, cash, but some sort of credit. We will not credit manufacturing overhead until we actually apply overhead to a job. And that's done, recall, using our predetermined overhead rate and some actual level of activity.